Hi there, I wanted to take a few minutes to walk you through what a typical week should look like for you. Please make sure that you make a schedule um, around your life so that you can take time to make sure that you are doing all the course requirements each week. It is going to take time, lots of time each week to set aside, so please make sure that you plan accordingly. If you look at Canvas, you'll be able to see in the modules section um, that there are different modules for each week. Starting in week two, you'll be doing math content. We'll start with chapter R, which is the review of the real number system. Okay, each week you are expected to read it, watch it, take a pretest, practice by doing the homework, and then take the chapter retakes. Okay, underneath read it, you'll see that I've provided some helpful hints for you underneath each section, um, kind of things to look out for, um, little goofy sayings or tricks that'll help you remember certain um, ideas. Um, stuff like that that will kind of help you throughout the uh, chapter. You can click the link down here there in the blue that says Chapter R Textbook. You'll be able to log into My Math Lab and read through the textbook for Chapter R. Okay. If you click Next, you'll be able to watch it. If you click the Chapter R video link, there will be um, links for each section, videos that you can watch to help you walk through each section of the chapter. You'll have a section for chapter R.1, R.2, R.3, R.4, and so on. Uh, there'll be somebody explaining to you all of the information that you'll need for each section. Please make sure that you take the time to watch these videos. That's how you're going to learn the material, just like if you were in an in-person class and I was teaching it to you. Okay. I've also provided a link to the chapter R workbook. It is um, a worksheet provided for you that has extra examples on it, practice problems. It is very important that you're not only watching the videos, but you're taking notes as you're watching the videos and you're practicing the problems on your own to make sure that you actually understand the material on your own. Okay. If you click next, you're going to see um, that it's going to take you to a pre-test link. If you click on the My Math Lab link, it'll take you to My Math Lab. You can take the chapter R pre-test for the first time to see how much you've mastered already. Remember, the better you do on the pre-test, the less homework you'll have to do for that chapter. If you get an 80% on your pre-test, you are able to actually take the retakes two more times um, after that. Unfortunately, if you score less than an 80% on your pretest, this is when you're going to have to go in and do the homework. You'll have to make sure that you get a, at least an 80% on each section of the homework for chapter R before you can uh, retake the tests um, for this chapter. Okay, so please make sure that you do your best the first time on that pretest so you can knock it out and not have to worry about doing anything extra if you don't need to. All right, here's where you're going to practice it. The homework is important that you're learning the information because this same information is going to be on your midterm and your final exam. Remember that your midterm and final exams are the exams that you're going to take proctored in person on campus. Remember those exams are worth 80% of your grade, so it's important that you're understanding the material so that when you come in and take the midterm and final um, that you do well. Um, please make sure that you do the homework with, uh, for each chapter with at least an 80%. Um, there's lots of different homework help um, options in my math lab if you need it. Once you have completed the homework in my math lab with at least an 80%, you will then be able to retake that chapter test. Remember, you have two retakes available to you. Those are due on Sunday um, each week by midnight, so please make sure that you get those in so that you can get a, the best score possible on each test. Out of the three scores, your pretest and your two retakes, the best score will be recorded. So please do your best. Make sure that you hit all those deadlines so you can get the best score for each chapter. Okay, that's pretty much what a typical week should look like. What I've also provided under each module is a help section. We're in this together, so please post problems from this chapter that you're struggling with and help each other by solving them. You could reply to a post with a step-by-step -step instructions. You could post a picture of the problem worked out. If you know of a good video online that you've found over that same topic, you can post the link. Here's a couple examples of some chapter R um, homework or test problems that I've worked through to give you an example of what we're looking for. You can post your pictures, you can post your links, you can post your questions, help each other out throughout the semester, just like if we were in class together. We can raise our hand, we can ask questions, we can talk to each other, we can help each other throughout the class, okay? All right, please keep working hard. Uh, let me know if you need anything. 
Uh, we'll see you later.